Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last episode we beat the boss of uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And I somehow failed at finding my way around here. But it turns out that if you take this cave from uh, Atlantis, you will end up in this area where we can find the Globo. And also, um, this is where the clear fish is that has the Jiggy. There he is. I found out that that this fish is actually uh, this jig is actually randomized, and it won't be on uh, in the same fish um, on every save. Actually, I think it changes whenever you load your save file. Oh come on! No. Oof. I tell you, it's so hard to control this thing, and I fail. Let's try it again because I that's not what I wanted to do. Just trying to get this jiggy. Come on. Uh, I don't want to start the video over. This is already take three because that my because my game froze and after that I couldn't find the jiggy because it moved to a different location, which sucks. But oh well. So yeah, you probably wondered where Wamba is in this world. Well, it turns out that if you swim up here, this is where she is, and her hut is actually. Uh, like partially underwater, and there's a reason for that, and you'll see why when you see the transformation we get for this world. You have Globo, want to give the Hamba? Yes, I do. Sure, I'll just throw it in. I don't even know how that works, how our like, pool is underwater. Magic ready, jump in Wamba pool. And we've already had the same dialogue before. I'm just, I'm trying to talk to you, I'm trying to dive in. Because once you see the transformation we get, You'll understand why there is water in here. <laughs> Wamba call is submarine. Use control stick to turn on spot and A for much speed. Press B for sonic ping attack or Z for torpedo attack. This is probably one of my favorite transformations. Uh, it's it's really fun to uh, move around underwater when you have this. You can use your... Um, well, I can show what this thing does. I guess, but... The enemies that I'm looking for aren't here, so... We, we should head back to Atlantis anyway. Because uh, the place where we want to take this submarine to get the last Jiggy we can get in Jolly Rogers Lagoon for now... ...is actually in the Larker Scavern. Yeah, right, we have to return to that place. But I suppose I could show off the... Um, ...the submarine if you are close to an enemy... ...and you use that... Uh, like the buffer fish, they actually blow up, and it's really weird. I, I suppose I could show you, but they keep dying off screen. Oh well, screw that. Let's move over to the warp point. If I can get to it. And naturally, town center will be disabled, because you can't get there as a submarine. So let's move over to the Larkas Cavern. And there should be an entrance down to the bottom, somewhere around here. I think it's actually over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we have to play a minigame here. And this is actually not that bad. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points and I might give you a prize. Do you need instructions? No. It's pretty much the same as the one in uh, Witchy World with the balloons. But this one's not that bad because your torpedoes, which you fire with Z, as Wamba said, they actually home in on, on those things. I don't know if they are affected by the homing cheat. I would imagine they are. I don't know, I've never actually done this without the homing cheat. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, as you can see, we are making like great progress on this. This is not hard. <laughs> Whoa, I actually got hit. That never happens. Usually, like usually I, I never get hit by those things. I am missing like nobody's business. But yeah, we already got it, so no worries. Suppose I could go on and like shoot some of the blue ones or something. Try to get a high score, not that it matters. <laughs> Thank you. 
79. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten more than that, but oh well. Rats, you luckily scored enough points to win my prize. And we get our Jiggy. So, let's go over there. And this is the last Jiggy we can get for Jolly Rogers Lagoon. We're done, for now at least. You wanna play again? No, I do not. So, I'm just gonna go off screen for a little, turn back into Benjo and Kazooie and leave the world, because that's gonna take a little while. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I uh, figured saving and quitting would be faster, because I was planning on uh, heading back to Jinjo Village anyway. Uh, since I forgot to show you... Let's go to our few total screen here. And as you can see, we have, we have everything in uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, except for three Jiggies and a Cheeto page, which we will not be able to get until later, so... That's good. Can't believe we're... Well, we're not at the halfway point of the game yet, because we don't have 45 Jiggies, but... We're getting there. <laughs> and I, I could have done this a lot sooner than this, but we wouldn't be able to do anything, so... Even if we got the item I'm about to get... And especially if you're a fan of the first game, you're gonna love this if you've never seen this before. So we have this cave, which lo looks rather icy, so... We have another one of those Banjo-Kazooie cartridges, so what could be in this one? Wow, look at that, it's the Ice Key! Yes sir, it's the fabled Banjo-Kazooie Ice Key! I wonder what it opens, well it turns out... Ouch! Okay, that was kind of unnecessary. <laughs> But oh well. I'm really excited to do this because, you know, I love the whole stop and swap thing. And the ice key is finally going to get its purpose, so. And especially what what it does, it's, it's so awesome. Or at least in my opinion it is. So we are going to head to the plateau because where we need to go is actually um, Glitter Gulch Mine. Believe it or not. There's something we can do there that we couldn't do before, but now that we have, um... Well, I'm not gonna spoil too much yet. Now that we have, uh... One of the moves from, uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, we will be able to do this. So let's head over there. Let's grab ourselves some, uh, no, not those. Let's grab ourselves some sprint shoes, and I'm not sure if we have to open the passage again. Uh, apparently we don't, that's fine. Not that, it's that, not that it's that hard, so it doesn't really matter. I forgot we're playing uh, the second game here. I imagine in Banjo-Kazooie they would have reset it, but since they don't like save what you, what you do in a world, they just save the jiggies you have. Which is still one of the reasons why I like this game better. But we are now in the Waterfall Cavern, which is where we are supposed to go. Because if you go underwater, here you will see a rock with a Kazooie face on it. You know what to do with it, just use the Talent Torpedo. And it opens up a passage. So let's head in there and see what we got. And just like that area in um, Ilo Hex, this place looks rather icy, so... We are actually going to go into a... Uh, a whole different world, a world we haven't seen yet. This is Hillfire Peaks. Um, one of my favorite worlds in the entire game. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting a bunch of lag here. You can see a little bit of it, but this is actually World 7, so we won't be coming here until much later. But if you look on the other side, it is a giant vault, which apparently can be unlocked with the ice key and... Do I hear a Globo? Let's use the ice key so that we can see what happens here. While this opens up, we get... Whoa! That's a huge Globo. Wow, you've got a legendary Mega Globo. It's supposed to have really special magical powers. So let's go check out what it does. And as you might remember... Well, we... You're probably wondering why you would take that Globo. Actually, if you talk to uh, Wamba in the overworld, 
she will tell you about this thing and she wants it for a certain spell. So now if we have this, let's actually take this to her. Uh, I'm kind of taking the long way around. I'm not cutting any of this out because I kind of want to like fill time or something. Because I don't want to start pterodactyl land yet. I'm going to keep that until... I'm, I'm gonna do that next time because I need to familiarize myself with that world because it's a pretty huge world as I said before and I I get lost in there a lot so I kind of want to familiarize myself with it first throughout the week if I can with all the stuff that I have to do jeez but yeah this is probably the last thing we're gonna do for this video so it's going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones, but oh well. It doesn't really matter too much. Actually, there's something else I could do. I didn't even think about that. We could open up the area where uh, where the next world is. I totally forgot about that. So let's head to the Pine Grove. As you might remember, that is where Wamba is in the overworld, so... Let's head over there. And also, this is where we have to go to um, open up the next area. There's a Kazooie face down there somewhere. Or at least I believe there is. Yeah, there it is. I don't know how the uh, the tracks of the, um, the, the digging machine are down there. <laughs> kind of weird. But it is finally time to see what this Mega Globo does. Wow, what's with the cutscene? A very special spell, but need legendary Mega Globo. Let me guess, I bet there's only one of these Mega Globo things, and it's really hard to find. But correct, now go and find. Be much surprised you have the legendary Mega Globo. Want to give to Hamba? Yes, I do, because we are going to get something awesome. Sure, I'll just throw it in. That looks so weird. Magic ready, jump on Wombo Pool. So let's check this out. It's gonna be so awesome. And you can see the Mega Globo jumping out at the side there. Uh, wait. Wombo called this dragon. But what's changed? Kazooie now big heap dragon, burn many baddies. Oh my god. Yes, Kazooie turns into a dragon and she actually gets a new attack. If you stand still and press B, she can actually burn enemies. And also, uh, she can when she's on her own, she can like flutter infinitely. And we now have infinite fire eggs, so it's really nice. I'm probably gonna keep this until well, pretty much the end of the game. I'm probably gonna turn it off for the final battle. But as you can see, I can just shoot fire eggs, and it doesn't consume any. So yeah, we could open up the area down there, but I'm up to 13 minutes, so we're actually going to save that for next time. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you later.